Now that's strange. And we're now live and there's no one entered. Well, we're on the Zoom direct directly. We're not through Hoover. So we've only got the six participants on this um, uh, Zoom link. Yeah. And Hoover will have a separate one. No, 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 no. It's the same link. They just need to click on the Hoover um, link and it takes them straight onto the, the webinar. Um, so I'm not sure why no one has entered. Um, again, people just say in code in Zoom as well. I mean, I, I'll tell you what, I could try and enter, like go through and see what comes up. Yep, good idea. Do they need to refresh? Uh, wait, hang on. I'll be two seconds. I'm just going to ring Timothy. Yeah. You just double check to see that it's got the right link. I'll put it in the chat. Okay. So this is the link that you should be clicking on um, in the Hoover app. Okay. Wait, is that not embedded when people click on the thing automatically? Has any suggestion we just copy and well, paste that? Well, over yeah i just want to double check that that is the correct link it's on the hoover app um for this session all right just in case us... folk are trying to get into a different session yeah okay give us two seconds um... yeah somebody's had a pop-up message joining meeting timeout um I got that earlier in the week for a strange reason. Yeah, my, I mean, I'm struggling to be able to see if that is the correct link or not. Is there a way in which Let me get the iPad out and let me see if I can um, join the link, join the meeting. Let me see. Thank you. Okay, why the end? can you? Uh, sorry, oh, here's. I was going to ask you, Sang, how you pronounce your name so that I get it right. But welcome, um, Professor Xiu, or Xiu, or how do you pronounce your name, please? My name is Chong He. Chong He. Oh, yes, good. All right, <laughs> Thank you. And is it CO or show or? Oh. So. 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 Yes, difficult. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. No, no, no problem. <laughs> We all think our own names are very easy to say. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I've, I've also just echoing what Caroline said. I just looked at the link and it is the same one that was posted in the chat. No password is embedded. Hmm. Um, right.
Japanese one is sick. Let's check. That's weird. So, so I'm not sure why the meeting the passcode has not been embedded because it's a one it's a one click join, right? So the password, um, I'll stick it in the chat, um, is nine three six eight three one. Okay, so if you want to pass that information on. Perhaps I'm coming in now. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. That's a weird one. No worries. Thanks for sorting that out and uh, good luck, everyone. Enjoy. Thanks. Indeed. Luke, I can't find the mission statement. Would you like to read it out at the beginning um, on my behalf, um, on behalf of the hosts? Because I can't find my copy to hand. Um, yeah, that's absolutely fine. I can I can email it if you like, but I'm also happy no, that, to. That, that means that I have to go between. Oh, yeah, no worries. I'm happy to read it. Thank you.
Ready to get the show on the road, Annie? Yes, I think so. Go for it. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. Uh, this is the session of the Basic Income 2021 Congress um, at uh, nine o'clock uh, of British summertime. Uh, welcome to this session. And I think everybody's been let in now that needs to. I can see we've got over 40 participants. Um, we'll give everyone a few more minutes to, um, to join. And uh, well, we seem to be stable now at 41, but presumably other people will join us in the meantime. Well, this is a session which is about South Korea's basic income adventure. And it's uh, and in this session, the uh, a short description of the history of the last 50 years in South Korea will be given, the specific features of South Korea, which make it quite unique, the nature of Korean politics, which are fairly distinctive, their proposals for a basic income, and a lot rests on the uh, presidential election next spring, in which it's hoped that the basic income candidate will prevail and that they can look forward to a new era in, in uh, society and economics in South Korea. So keep your eyes on the South Korean elections for president next spring. Um, the names of the speakers are Kyo Sang Ahn, who's going to give the main delivery, and Jeong Gi To, um, who is the, the second speaker and will be available to answer questions, I think. Um, some housekeeping. The recommendation is that you keep your mics to mute when you're not actually contributing to the debate. Talk slowly and clearly so that the captions can pick up what you're saying. Uh, we will be recording, in fact, we have started recording the speaker's contributions, so please turn your camera off if you're not comfortable with being filmed. But we won't be recording during the question and answer session. But put your questions in the Q&A box throughout all the talks. We will come back to these during the discussion at the end. Invite, uh, please be contributing these um, through the chat box throughout. If anyone has anything specific they need for this session to be accessible for them, please let me or the moderator know. Either speak up or put a note in the chat or send a private message to me. That last option, uh, that, that is to Tim Armour, not to me. Before I invite the speakers to start, I want to draw your attention to this magnificent book, which is called Basic Income for Everyone's Economic Freedom. This is the English version of a magnificent book which was published in Korea last year. This is the English language version which was published in June this year. And um, I'm getting the moderator to put up the details, um, hopefully in the chat if my attachment works, if not. But if not, uh, you can get my email um, and address and I can send you details. I have to and uh, admit the fact that I was invited to give the forward for this book. So I do have an interest, not a financial one, but I can recommend that it's a thorough going book and um, uh, very worth reading. So uh, details about that later on, perhaps uh, Sang Ahn will uh, give us more about that too. So without more ado, I can invite you to uh, invite Kyo Sang Ahn to tell us more about South Korea and its particular situation. Thank you, Kyo Sang. You're mute. Thank you, Annie, for introducing us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good evening, good afternoon, or good morning. Uh, I'm Kyo Sang Ahn, uh, Executive Director of Basic Income Korea Network. And with me, Jung is a professor of Gunsan National University, and she is also a board member of Basic Income Korean Network. Uh, thank you for inviting us to the session, and I'm glad to have an opportunity to speak about the current situation and prospect for BI in Korea. 
Uh, let me share um, my PowerPoint slide. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, our presentation is based upon a study on the experience in Gyeonggi province that is aimed to prove the feasibility of base income in Korea. This study was carried out by five academics, including Jung Yi and me. In this sense, Jung Yi and I will give you our presentation on behalf of other colleagues. What we are going to speak about under the title of Korea's or South Korea's basic income adventure are how basic income agenda was spread. What is its position in terms of its realization and the prospect for implementation of basic income. Uh, I start with the historical backgrounds characteristics of democracy and industrialization, some changes after the Asian financial crisis in 1997, and the development of welfare state in Korea. Uh, and then we have to understand the futures of party politics and civic movements. Uh, secondly, we trace the trajectory from debate on free school meals to the rise of base income. Thirdly, I suggest the reasons why basic income agenda revived in 2020 against the backdrop of COVID-19. I explore which factors have made the basic income agenda have its current position. Finally, I will end with the prospect for realization of base income. We know that lots of people who support basic income across the world are watching, interestingly, what, what have been happening in Korea. But many people do not know exactly the current situation, not to speak of prospect of basic income in Korea, mainly due to fiscal distance as well as language barrier. So I had to decide that I would deliver our presentation as analyst, observer, activist, and correspondent simultaneously. Our presentation is a dense but rough historical and political future story because I had to make a long history short. But I want to keep in mind that there have been lots of people who strived for social justice and democracy in Korea behind our short story. Uh, dynamics is a word that best characterizes Korean society in the second half of the 20th century. It's a surprising reversal from the immobility and heteronomy of Korea in the late 19th century and the early 20th century when it was on the brink of colonization. The source of the dynamism can be attribute to decolonization and modernization in the context of the Cold War that had its main future as system competition and the dynamism was expressed as industrialization and democratization. Uh, two expressions were the forces that strengthened each other being in time difference. And then we could see the confluence of two forces in 1987 when Korean people achieved the institutionalized democracy. Uh, there were two currents in the system of 1887. One is an impulse to expand the democracy supported by the growth of the labor movement and the various minorities rights movement. The other was the power of the capital seeking freer economic activities beyond the uh, control and scope of developmental states. In this sense, we saw the buried moves in the 90s that tried to find a new system after the earthquakes of democratization. 
Here, I have to add the shift of the progressives and the reps. The progressives and the reps having the third world tendency were divided into a few currents following the democratization and developmental capitalism, the fall of Soviet system and the ongoing division of nation. We saw the nationalist tendency, militant trade unionism, social democracy, classical socialism, and so on. The tendency that would embrace basic income idea grew in this turbulence. While reflecting the experience of Soviet, still paid an attention to the contradictions of capitalism, uh, this tendency has gained the recognition that social transformation would depend on the people's power. Consequently, that, that would be a source that resonated with social republicanism with when basic income idea arrived at South Korea. We think that the main aim and effect of basic income could be empowerment of people. Uh, this situation was appended by the 1997 Asian financial crisis, giving way to the structural adjustment in which we saw the flexibility of labor and the financial regulation under the dictates of IMF supported by the neoliberals within Korea. We saw following changes in the site where the tempest swept, dualization of economy, instability and insecurity of jobs and income, deepening of inequality and social polarization. We could see the growth of economy and the danger of people's life simultaneously. Now we turn to Welfare state in Korea. We saw unique development of West welfare state in the time of neoliberalism's neo march. It contributed to the effects of democratization on, on the one hand. It was as a result of residual welfare policies that were allowed, allowed it under the neoliberalism on the other hand. Since then, two tendencies have had influence on the path of welfare state in Korea while conflicting each other. Korea began to at least on the surface across a threshold of welfare states around 2000. We can see it in some indices, national basic living security, expanding of social insurances, welfare expenditure expansion. However, welfare state in Korea has some difficulties or contradictions, institutional mismatching, the legacy of development state, uh, limits of a liberal welfare model, weak political and social basis for welfare politics compared to Western world. Now I'm going to speak about the political shift around welfare policies. Uh, after brief springtime, the labor movement in Korea was weakened and marginalized. The vacuum was filled by various civic movements, though much smaller in scale. And public intellectuals played a key role in this movement. They exerted an outsized influence due to uh, the, the hegemonic role they achieved as leaders of the democratization movement political and social scene in which a big issue attracted public concern. This tendency was named the politics, politics of the vortex by an American scholar a long time ago. And then we here we understand the, have to understand the characteristics of party politics and the political consideration in Korea. After the democratization, we found continuation and consolidation of two-party system, legacy of the Cold War, relative weakness of labor movement, which hindered the growth of progressive and left parties. In this, in this situation, progressives attempt to push their agenda through the central reformist party, uh, Democrats and that formed the basis for the Progressive Center Alliance, 
which forms one avenue of reform in Korea. Central reformists in their part welcomed this move to strengthen their party as long as progressives did not demand radical policies. Political center alliance, which formed within Democrats, has played a role in political and social reform. However, the reform always stopped at the front door of economic democratization and consolidation of social welfare under the influence of liberal or neoliberal ideology. However, we saw uh, a surprising turning point in 2009 and 2010. It was debate around free school meals. At the time, we had cons conservative and neoliberal co governments up to two consecutive democratic governments. And we had support from the financial crisis and becoming recession, which people around the world experienced. The demand for free school meals was an expression of people's inspiration for universal welfare, who experienced economic suffering as well as democratization. Since then, free school meals became a reference whenever demand for universal welfare provision rose. Even a conservative candidate promised universal basic pension in presidential election in 2012, even though she broke her promise and implemented the basic pension for bottom 70% of old ages. It was in this atmosphere that basic income Korean network was formed in 2009. In exception, it was a small group of researchers and activists from the left section in the democratization movement. We elaborate base income policies while sort to of find a channel to it in actual political scene. Some left and green political activists support base income, but it remained still as a, a utopian idea. But the the atmosphere was changed when Lee Jae-myung, mayor of Songnam City, embraced the base income idea and made effort to implement the scheme. Uh, he implemented use dividend of 1 million Korean won annum that is paid to an age group of 24. It was designed by leading members of base income Korean network. Uh, it was a pretty significant occasion when Songnam City implemented use dividend in 2016. Uh, we observed a few events that referred to the rise of base income idea and policy. Human Go player was defeated by AI AlphaGo, in which we could see glimpsed one aspect of the future, future without jobs. Some leading politicians expressed their concern for base income. Base Income Congress saw that attracted public and media attention, which helped people embrace it as a plausible policy. Finally, as I said earlier, Songnam City implemented use dividend at the start of that year. The use dividend program expanded to the whole of the province as Gyeonggi province used base income after Lee Jae-myung's election in 2018. Use based income is a uh, uh, escape and yeah. Use based income is a part of a wider package combining with the establishment of base income committee, discussion of farmers base income and rural area based income experiments, uh, emergency relief base income in response to COVID-19 crisis. So Gyeonggi province became a laboratory and political epicenter for basic income. Now I turn to the rise and fall of basic income agenda in short periods of time as in the app and flow of politics. Korean people took to the street protesting president's abuse of power and corruption 
and demanding a just society and restoration of democracy in fall and winter of 2016 and 2017. It was called candlelight revolution in which people expressed many grievances and demand social and economic reform. So the presidential election that was held after the impeachment in May became a bad period in which almost all candidates fought with their social and economic reform front. The mayor of Songnam city at the time was a newcomer in center of national political scene. However, he rose as a competent rival to the in incumbent President Moon Jae-in because he claimed a strong economic reform as well as restoration of democracy based upon his experiences of implementing youth dividend. But with the election of Moon, the current president and his electoral pledge income led growth, base income became marginalized again. However, base income was similar to a hidden dragon that waited proper time to fry. Base income returned to the prominence at national level due to the COVID-19. With the twin crisis of public health and economic economy, income disruption, disruption became commonplace, which opened the field base income re-emerged. Demand for digester or emergence basic income appeared at every corner of society. Government and the party in government have to respond to the crisis and to hear the demand before the general election in April last year. We observed Prem Boyan's debate on the issue between universal payment versus selective assistance. Governor Lee announced that Gyeonggi province would pay digest base income of 100,000 Korean won to all citizens in the province before central government decides the amount and scope of payment at national level. Finally, central government and the party in government had to announce that every citizen would be given digest relief, even though it was based upon the size of household in order to win the coming general election. Oh, sorry. Uh, digest or basic emergence basic income and digest relief were significant experience to the people in Korea, considering that Korean welfare state had been very weak and the people in Korea had almost never experienced the case, say the public assistance without condition. In the course of the things, Gov Governor Lee has risen as a front runner in the coming presidential election. A number of factors may have contributed to his rise, his personality, competence as administrator, disappointment to other candidates and so on but we can choose basic income as a significant element. As I said earlier, under the condition that almost all people suffer from instability and insecurity, basic income could be an expression of their inspiration. Here, candidate D embodies people's political and economic desire and demand as a champion's basic income. Next, I will say, the reasons why base income gains prominence in South Korea. Firstly, the emergence of group of social activists and policymakers to embrace base income and present them as a realist, realistic, base, realistic policies. Base income Korean network established in 2009 was particularly central to this. Basic BN Congress in 2016 and the first Korean base income fair in 2019 were the big turning point. Secondly, there was an influential politician and administrator who took the idea of base income seriously in terms of social justice. Thirdly, in a time of crisis such as ours, 
where everything is in flux, one must be able to present a concrete alternative. Given this, Gyeonggi province youth base income embodies a new paradigm, allowing the public to experience what that new alternatives might look like for themselves. Fourth, youth base income in Gyeonggi province was possible because of the dual status of local governments. Local governments don't have independent fiscal powers, so they cannot implement policies such as base income on a large scale. However, it was possible to do it on a small scale through budget savings, which allowed it to bypass the establishment opposition. Fifth, Youth base income is a categorical base income. The difficulties of young people today are uh, a worldwide phenomenon. And so it is, in, it is the case in Korea. Youth base income became influential despite its small scale because of its focus on the socially prevalent issue. Six, and finally, the provision of base income by a local currency won over the small business owners to the program and show the potential for coalition building through base income. Finally, I will present a prospect. What the governor Lee Jae-myung, who champions base income, can win first the Democratic primary and then the presidential election is still up in the air. Given the current political landscape and the balance of power, it is likely that we'll see a president with base income as his main policy. So here we have his base income problem. One, provision of basic income amounting to 1 million Korean won per annum to everyone, 2 million Korean won to 19 to 29 age group, to funding, land value tax, carbon tax, and fiscal savings and tax relief and exemption reform. Three, establishment of basic income committee to facil facilitate public discussion and implement a higher level of base income. He said his final goal is 500,000 Korean won about 450 US dollars to everyone. Uh, but even so, if uh, he will be elected president, basic income in its full sense will not be implemented immediately. Firstly, Everyone, as everyone will know, there will be a transition period before basic income is fully implemented. Secondly, even if the president is behind it, basic income is still at the hegemonic paradigm, thus the key issue will be how to persuade and shift the established order, especially the majority of the National Assembly, bureaucrats and civic movements towards basic income. And then, uh, a few days ago, Basic Income Korean Network released our blueprint, so-called roadmap. Its title is Social Transformation in Korea, Basic Income Roadmap by Realists. The key point of, of roadmap is below. One, the introduction of partial basic income of 300,000 won per month to everyone, to rearing of basic income and income-based social insurance. Three, implementation of a full basic income equivalent to 50% of median income within 10 years. Four, financed by rent tax, rent dividend and carbon tax and carbon dividend and citizens income tax. Finally, Strengthening, strengthen social services to create a welfare state with base income. 
We hope that our blueprint could play a role in building base income coalition as well as in pushing base income into feasible agenda as a reference. So we already formed a kind of umbrella organization, political collective action for base income, which could bring together individuals and groups that support base income, even though there are some disagreements about what is a feasible base income model and what is the aims of base income. It has two plans. One is the public forums for general audience nationwide. The other is petition for registration of base income. As that, I remind you that this country was in brink of colonization a century, a century ago. Now we are crossing the threshold for implementing base income. Of course, I'm not sure what is weighted for us beyond the threshold. We will be able to see what there would be only when we move to the point where the road curves. I want you to move together to the point where we are able to end barbaric ages. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you very much, Hyo San. Uh, uh, Cleo uh, moved it from the uh, first day to the fourth day. Sorry, I missed that. Can you repeat that, Luke? No, I think it's okay. You can continue. Left his right. mic on. Um, and I have to mention now that uh, at this stage, unless um, Gyeonggi has anything extra to say as part of the presentation, then we'll move to the questions and answers. Do you have anything you wish to say at this stage, Yongi? No? No, okay, thank you. Oh, um, I'm so, so we'll stop recording now, I think, Luke. As well, now we go on to the sessions. Well, I think that was absolutely magnificent uh, voyage through South Korean history for, from the last hundred years or so. And it's amazing. And it's a fantastic illustration to the rest of us how the combination of the research foundation, the advocacy, the uh, political action and so on has together come to this point and is something that we can all learn. Um, now just checking if the, do we have any questions in the chat box? Uh, not so far. Um, are there any people who would like to uh, ask questions at the moment? Uh, Mike or um, you have any questions to ask? There aren't any sorry, questions. Sorry, I was just checking. In the right. Yeah. Maybe we could ask, what are your feelings about how um, sentiments are at the moment? How do you think campaigns are developing? Is there a lot of media interest in, in basic income in South Korea? Do you want to unmute yourselves, Hyo Sang and Jonggi? Sorry, uh, ask a question again, please. Sure. Michael. Is, is there a couple of things? Is there a lot of interest in the, the mass media, television and newspapers about basic income? And how is that influencing the, the campaigns and discussions amongst the population? Mm. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, during the COVID-19 crisis uh, and the demand for, when demand for emergency space income appeared at the co every corner of the society. So uh, main public broadcasting corporation responded to the whole uh, debate, television show and debate and coverage of the uh, base income debate and so on. So uh, now, uh, and now, base income is uh, uh, this 
this course in uh, every every home's kitchen in in South Korea. Thank you. Um, I'm not uh, accessing the Hoover app, so um, I, can someone else read out what were there any questions there? Uh, yeah, there's a there's a question from Nicholas Malin who said, "Did the basic income Korean network help the president to get in the power? I imagine into power." Ah, uh, yes, that's a very tricky question. I think. Uh, oh, so wait a minute. Uh, oh, uh, uh, the reading member of basic income and uh, attitude of basic income Korean Toko is somewhat different from the candidate Lee, but uh, we think he's, he embraced basic income idea very seriously and he will, he, ha he has a strong will to implement basic income. So, but uh, basic income current talk will take a independent attitude in order to build a wider base income coalition and uh, push the base income idea to the uh, proper level, we think. Uh, but uh, some member of base income current network uh, have already participated in his campaign team. So it's a very tricky question and a tricky issue. Mm. I'm very impressed by the fact that South Korea has a Yonggi Research Institute. And is that a separately funded institute or is it a combination of academics who are already employed in other universities? Which of those is it? Do you want me to repeat the question? Oh, no, no, no. Uh... And uh, do, do you ask the how many academics uh, embrace the basic income idea and uh, do research on basic income? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think the we saw we observed the very imbalance uh, regarding the basic income issue. Uh, the front runner in president election uh, take base income as his uh, electoral pledges, so it appeared very, very, very uh, uh, strong. But uh, uh, in general, in uh, especially in academic world, uh, there are a few, few support, few base income supporters. So. Uh, so there, uh, uh, to date, there is no uh, official program or institute in universities uh, that uh, doing uh, that to uh, basic income research. We are, we are we are uh, uh, leading members of basic income Korean network is a kind of island in the huge sea. Right. Hmm. I've got right. another question here, Annie, if that's all yeah. right, um, from Good. Paul Harnett. Um, he asks, is there a paper on carbon tax and dividend? Will the tax include the carbon footprint of imports? And is it not possible to tax wealth rather than income to fund a basic income? A lot of questions in one there. Can you repeat them, Luke, if that helps? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the question is about whether there's a carbon tax, uh, a paper on carbon tax and a dividend paid from that. Um, will that tax include the carbon footprint of imports? And is it not possible to tax wealth rather than income to fund basic income?
even though the carbon tax and carbon dividend is a part of our basic income scheme, we think uh, carbon tax and carbon dividend, carbon dividend uh, will be uh, this will disappear. Uh, we think it is good that uh, carbon tax and carbon dividend dividend or will disappear as soon as, as soon as possible. So, but uh, as I said earlier, we will have the transition period. Uh, in this, uh, in this case, uh, the transition period is has two meaning. One is transition to uh, ecological and climate transformation. And the, uh, the other is uh, transition to a society with base income. Uh, I think a carbon thing, carbon tax and carbon dividend is a, a temporary or transitional program to the to that society. And, and, and what about a, a wealth tax? Does Korea think about having a wealth tax? Wealth tax? Yes. Uh, yeah. About 20 years ago, uh, uh, a progressive party uh, demanded a wealth tax uh, similar to the wealth tax in France. Uh, and then uh, about, but uh, there are very huge rest, but many, many politicians uh, think that uh, tax reform is very difficult. But uh, we think, uh, but we, uh, we, we consider the uh, wealth tax, uh, wealth tax, we include, we contained wealth tax in the, our blueprint, but uh, we did not decide it, uh, we contained it uh, because uh, we, pay attention to the uh, common wealth. Uh, so we have, uh, we have a serious problem in Korea. One is the rising of housing price and serious uh, environmental problem. So we pay attention to, we paid attention to the land problem and environmental problem. And then uh, we, add, we, we chose the citizen's basic income, uh, which is, uh, uh, which, uh, uh, citizen's basic income, uh, citizen's income tax is from the idea that everyone gains a certain amount of benefit from the historical and social inheritance. So uh, we think, uh, so it is the it is justice that uh, we make 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 money from the citizens income tax uh, based on idea of common wealth. Okay. Thank you. Um, any more questions, Luke? Yeah, there's there's quite a few coming through. Yeah. Um, there's one from Antonis. Um, which asks about whether the pilot uh, has increased awareness about basic income and its benefits to society, um, not simply in Yongi um, and among young recipients, but in other um, demographic demographics as well. Um, so that's just the awareness that the pilot has increased across the entire country and in different demographics. Did you get that, Hyosung? Ha has the Gyeonggi experiment raised awareness across the whole of South Korea? You're mute. Hyosung, you're mute. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Jong-Yi uh, answer to this question. It would be nice. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, the first question is uh, the pilot uh, have increased our awareness about basic income and its benefit in society in general. The answer is yes, because uh, uh, in uh, Amazon's basic income, uh, especially, uh, sorry. Yesterday, uh, we said, uh, the uh, the Gyeonggi uh, youth basic income very the level is very uh, low level, uh, but the experience of basic income played an uh, important role in Korea. Uh, even if they did not receive the basic income directly, the experience of receiving the youth basic income from family members and people around them lead to support for basic income. So, Gyeonggi residents were more supportive of the universal emergency basic income. So the um, pilot or policy uh, of Gyeonggi youth basic income and Amazon basic income is important in Korea. And uh, the second question is in general uh, aspect not only in Gyeonggi and among the young uh, recipients, but in other demo, uh, demographics. Yes, uh, there are some limits. Uh, it is uh, especially uh, Gyeonggi use basic income is categorical basic income. Uh, and the scale and scope are very limited uh, because new basic income and Amazon basic income are implemented by local government that does not have authority to impose taxes. Uh, local governments without power to implement new tax have no choice. So uh, implement BI scheme at a low level uh, and uh, narrow range. In this context, uh, we have Gyeonggi, we have to consider Gyeonggi the use basic income as a low level uh, categorical basic income. Uh, and uh, however, it is not able to evolve to a universal basic income automatically uh, because Categorical basic income has one important problem that uh, could hinder it to expand beyond those group of already recipient to the other group. So we needed to another leap to achieve UBI national wide. Uh, sometimes uh, Amazon's basic income uh, is play uh, important role in Korea. So the question is very difficult for me, uh, but uh, I think uh, next uh, election, uh, that is big issue. Uh, and I think Gyeonggi's experience uh, will influence that. Thank you. Luke, another question? Yes. Um, Martin Osborne uh, asks, um, there is a basic income party in South Korea. How have the basic income Korean network interacted with them? Uh, has their emergence been helpful? Uh, uh, basic income party was uh, founded uh, last year and then 
participated in uh, general election April and gained uh, one seat uh, at National Assembly. And uh, most of the most of basic Korean network, most members of Korean network supported basic party or a member of basic party. Uh, because uh, we share the uh, vision and aims of base income. Uh, so uh, considering the stubborn two-party system and conservative political atmosphere uh, is very achievable and surprising thing we have only uh, have a tribune, tribune uh, at the National Assembly, even though it is only one. So it is very, uh, very power to spread or promulgate basic income idea and discourse and policies. So, but uh, they have only one seat and very uh, small party. Uh, I'm not sure he uh, it will. Uh, how much influence uh, it, it will how 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 much influence in the uh, next presidential election? Thank you. Keep the questions coming in the in the chat um, on on Hoover for those who haven't asked any already. Uh, Simon Jones asked earlier um, whether you had noticed a rise in youth entrepreneurship. Have they had the recipients of the basic income been able to start up their own businesses on the basis of their basic income, their youth basic income? Any, uh, sorry? Have, have any of the 24 year olds who have received the Yonggi basic income been mm. able to set up their own businesses? No, no. 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 Yeah. We can find, we can find. No, not yet anyway. Yeah. And it's a small basic income also. Yeah, very, yeah. It's very because of its, its amount of very small. Yep. Yeah. A question from Alina Claudis. Um, what do you think most convinced your politicians? Um, and that was something I was going to ask in terms of how you'd advise other countries to go about putting pressure on their elected officials to, to further the cause of basic income. So what do you think it was that most convinced your politicians to go down this route? Convinced? Pardon? Convinced? Persuaded. Uh, uh, convinced? I, I don't understand the mean, uh, the point of, of question. What persuaded your politicians ah. most? Okay. Uh, it's very tricky and difficult question as well. Uh, because uh, the political atmosphere is uh, very different from from country to country, uh, but uh, so I I I explained I tried to explain the historical background and political scene and consideration. Uh, I think the. Mm. We we try to uh, two directions. Uh, we try to persuade the politicians on two uh, two dimensions. One is uh, to form a strong civic movements and to present a plausible policy. Uh, but behind it, uh, we persuade. The politicians an informal informal network and, and making a political and 
uh, personal relations. Uh, it is, uh, in Korea, the Korea is very centralized nation in terms of every aspect of society. So we, uh, uh, to be honest, we 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 know well personally in each other in political class and social movement. Uh, those who in politics and social movements. So I think. It, uh, I think it, it is possible. Uh, a bit, okay, we pursue a the, the uh, a reading politic. Uh, we can uh, we could appreciate reading politicians uh, because we have uh, uh, two level of uh, effort. Uh, as I said earlier, one is to a strong social movement and elaborate a project of policy and then uh, persuade an in, in, informal or personal networks. But I don't think uh, any other country uh, could uh, copy this, uh, this process or model of politics. I'm not sure. <laughs> Thank you. Um, another question here, which is asking about the polls um, for the election in March um, and what they are looking like right now. Yeah. I, uh, I don't I don't believe the uh, poll because uh, the result is very different according to the uh, institution that carried ca carried out the poll, uh, but uh, I believe the uh, trend or flow of, of poll result uh, to date, I think uh, uh, candidate Lee Jae-myung would uh, gain the democratic ticket for presidential election, but. But no one, no one knows the future. And uh, on the opposition party, uh, they fought in a mired, mired battle uh, in primary. So I'm not sure who will be, who will have the ticket for opposition party, but uh, uh, we have uh, two two conditions. Uh, I think the in uh, personality. Uh, I think the uh, Lee Jae Myung could win the presidential election, but the uh, at political atmosphere is not advantage to him because uh, current governments. Uh, fail to fail to meet the uh, uh, people's demand in the last four years. Thank you. I don't think there are any other questions, Annie. Um, could, I, could I just put one then? Um, I, certainly in the UK, Although there's some very keen advocates of basic income, the general level of knowledge about basic income in the population is still very small. Do you have any tips for us about how we can raise the awareness of the public at grassroots level about what a good idea basic income is and what it can do for them? I don't have any any projectable tea uh, to you, but uh, as I said, uh, the Korean the main characteristics in Korean society and politics is a kind of dynamism, 
uh, in uh, one sense, the dynamism means the very, uh, very, very, very short-lived. But uh, on, if when the main issue is raised, the public pay attention to that problem. It, it, it's very uh, unique characteristic of Korea. But I think the UK is the very conventional and traditional and very not changed society. So I think <laughs> I misunderstood, uh, but uh, I think the uh, I think the take the uh, media attention uh, to push. Uh, serious and popular politician or celebrities, and uh, even though he, later he will betray us. Right. Um, if there are no more questions, and would you like to say anything now, Jongi, um, before we bring this to a close? Do you have something else to add? Uh, in the uh, chat, Namun Khan said, <laughs> oh, oh, yes, there are, yes, there are some answer. Uh, so the Korea experienced the COVID-19 uh, uh, in period of COVID-19. Uh, Korean people experienced the universal uh, emergency basic income last year and uh, this year is one time in Gyeonggi-do. Uh, so everyone experienced basic income in Korea. It is very important uh, experience. And uh, uh, next to election, uh, I don't know that result, but Namun Kang, uh, Disagree with me. Namun <laughs> Kang uh, uh, said, uh, Governor Lee Jae Myung currently uh, ranks first in approval uh, ratings uh, within the ruling party. Uh, the gap with the second uh, runner uh, is even doubles. Uh, so uh, he hope. <laughs> yes, Izemio will win. Yeah. Uh, and I think uh, the tip for uh, universal basic income, uh, I think uh, local currency is a uh, good strategy in Korea. Uh, because um, I think uh, I would like to explain some uh, local currency in uh, Korea. Uh, the local currency uh, used in Gyeonggi to uh, use basic income, Amazon's basic income, and the uh, uh, central government's Amazon disaster support benefit in Korea is some um, different from the existing local currency. Uh, most people think of local currency, uh, which is used only in the region and is issued by the private sector. Uh, also, mm -hmm. it is not exchangeable for cash. Uh, however, uh, as for local currency in Korea, there is uh, also a local currency issued by private civil society. But the local currency used in relation to basic income uh, is money uh, issued by the government that is uh, almost cash. Uh, to explain the characteristics, uh, first, issued by local governments. Second, although there are some differences by um, reason, it cannot be used by companies run by large corporations. Uh, third, uh, can only uh, be used within the region. Uh, first, 
There are two types of local currency, a credit card and mobile cash, not paper. Uh, so uh, from the consumer's point of view, uh, these characteristics cannot be used in large enterprises or in some industries. Mm -hmm. And there are no restrictions on items. Uh, from the seller's point of view, there is no or very low card fees and sales paid in local currency can be exchanged for cash at any time. Uh, mm -hmm. The reason why small businesses strongly support local currency uh, is that large corporations have no very high market share in Korean market. Mm -hmm. uh, Korean big company, uh, companies, for example, Samsung, LG, Hyundai, and so on, is called the Zebel, uh, Korean um, terms, Zebel. Uh, these companies have a high market share in almost every industry sector. Uh, for example, construction, mm -hmm. electronics, retail, and so on. Uh, we cannot use local currency in businesses run by large corporations. Mm -hmm. yeah. So local currency uh, functions to transform some of the market governance. So, uh, I think uh, local currency strategy is good uh, strategy, I think. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, we're running out of time and I don't think there are any more questions lined up. So I want to thank our speakers very much. We've, and I hope that Hyung Sang, you can make your paper available because there's so much detail in it. It's very difficult for people to remember, but there's so much there that we can learn from. But we've had a history through the amazing, uh, the amazing history of South Korea in the last hundred years. And it's an amazing society, which has really turned it round from uh, its introduction to basic income at the turn of this century in, over, in just over 20 years, it has produced a large body of research material, far more than probably any other single country. It's um, already had an experiment. It's introduced a local currency to demonstrate the advantages of that. It's got a charismatic politician to take on the idea. And it's now on the brink of a very exciting period, which I think we should all watch with interest because the next six months or so to the election is going to be very exciting for the, uh, the advocates in South Korea to see how Governor Lee um, manages in his uh, ele election for pre president. And we shall all be watching with great interest. So I want to thank you both very much indeed. It's been an amazing tour. Um, you've been a very special country with relation to basic income. I don't think anybody has had such a meteorology, meteor such a high profile um, increase in, in, in interest in basic income. And you really are an example for us to, to follow in so many ways, even though you have distinct differences from many other countries. But thank you so much to all of you and to all of your colleagues as well, who have helped us to get to this position. And thank you very much. Thank you all of you for for listening and do continue in the chat having conversations and I hope our two speakers will stay around to respond to that if you've got time. But thank you very much indeed and thank you everybody. Thank you for our moderator and for the other folk. Bye for now. <laughs>